my child came and told me amma in our school there is a birthday party i think there's a birthday party in the big way i suppose nowadays uh, there is a birthday party my son my friend's house they spare they take us to some five star restaurant some well off parents can take there's nothing wrong because everybody has their way of doing birthdays there is nothing i will comment on that going to five star hotel is less or not good or nothing of that sort that is their parents wish he went once i think his classmates birthday was there and my child uh, rohan my son went to birthday party came and said amma it was so good and my birthday i even i want to take i said no bill you can't take he said why i said rohan please remember how much it will cost let us talk about it each child let us take 1000 rupees you call your 50 people your class how much it cost 50 into 1000 is how much 50000 rupees he said rohan please remember you know i told there was a uh, person who used to come and drive our car i said he has two children they are as bright as you are okay their school fees are probably in those days 10000 if you give 20000 to them they can go to a better school beta for your birthday i am not denying you should not do etc i will buy samosa okay i will buy samosa and rasna packet or nimbu sharba something there no no mango or drink was there what is that masa not masa fruity fruity yeah <laughs> fruity in those days i am talking about uh, 25 years back so i will spend for 50 children plus our driver's children everyone you know all together this much money more than that i think you should not spend because you have you you what you are doing is wrong according to me those two children will not go to school for as you spend 50000 and he didn't like it what i said he didn't like it he said oh you always give me uh, hishob that means you always give me plus minus always a balance sheet i said uh, think over it i will give you 3 days time and after 3 days he came back and said okay i agree but along with samosa you should give us one gulab jamun or something <laughs> i said fine okay so i told and in front of him i gave 10000 to our driver's children in front through his hand i said bill from your account there is a 50000 rupees out of that this is the way you spent this was, this much money is left and this you should give it to some good cause and i used to take my children when i wash vessels i used to take my children to wipe them you have to take your children fortunately i had a job like this where i go to uh, lambani tribal area etc i used to take my children come with me i can show you they are very good children there they don't have an opportunity is it not your duty so he i used to tell me you make me so guilty amma to spend any money and today because every time you'll bring one case like that so <laughs> today he says amma what you did was a fantastic education that when we spend so much money we never think of someone else and that sense of caring for others you know for example you know we had a, we have a cook and we had a cook always gets food um so the cooks normally eat used to eat in the kitchen i told one day rohan i was talking about equality in life or some topic i when they become 14 16 i treated them like adult just like adult at least after 14 boys after 16 no, girls also 13 only have to do now when i early <laughs> i treated them like adults and we'll have a conversation on a dining table i talked talked about equality and i was talking about slavery in america equality so important in life then he said amma if that is equality will our drivers uh, you will our uh, uh, cook uh, eat on the same table as ours uh, for a minute i never thought about it i said yeah, why not and he, he made it a point our cooks eat at the same dinner table but our cooks are hesitating no we, we don't want to eat then you know i made a, a samosa like you can eat after we eat if you feel like eating no we don't want to eat with us at least you sit uh, use the dining table and eat on the dining table it may be a small move but that made a lot of awareness for my children equality in life when he was in our cornell school uh, ron's birthday came and i was thinking he was abroad in those days what he will do Uh, i would have been unhappy this is my subjective opinion if he spent so much money on a birthday which comes every year why waste that kind of money it is not something like fantastic thing it is not like we are mahatma gandhi born on october 2nd we are ordinary people or we are just ordinary people let us not think that we are too great it somebody says oh what do you think of yourself i said i am a very ordinary person very ordinary person but the situation made me great
the situation made me great. I'm very ordinary than like, like anybody else. You should bring up this idea with your children's mind. Look, my child, you are ordinary. Just because your father has money or I have money, you are not extraordinary. Money comes due to various reasons. Okay? And money, what you have, has a cause. That I made it to my children in a very young age. And when he was in Cornell, he wrote to me and I have that email even today. He said, every mother works, every mother looks after her child, but I am proud my mother looks after someone's children. Isn't that the best compliment I can see? He got a scholarship. Then he got a scholarship and he, he sent the very little money. He must have had one lakh rupee or something, you know, not great money. He wrote to me, Amma, this money should be spent on my birthday to all those Jawans who died in the parliament attack in 2001. They died there so that we can live in free democratic India. It is not a big money. It is not a big money. But that idea of sharing wealth with somebody, idea of being sensitive, someone is poor and they have a right to live and making equality along with our own driver and cook. You know, such ideas you have to initiate to your children. That is very important. Most of the time we don't do that. Because we think, what others will think? What is the status? Suppose my neighbor comes, my cook is eating on the dining table, what they think of us? You know, all those false values, all those, you know, uh, tightened compartments we build around what people think. Let them think what they think. You cannot live on people's opinion. You have to live on your own opinion. And that you should understand to tell your children. Children will be, you know, for many years children will carry your values. Later, once they are married, their wife's value, once they are exposed to different values, you know, uh, that, that goes on changing. But to some extent, great extent, you can reflect it. Yes, please.